All righty, gang. Welcome to status update number 12. We are entering our adolescence years. I think that's the term for it. We're growing into our bodies. Things are getting weird. A lot of hormones going around. Truth be told, I didn't hit my growth spurt until summer going into junior year of high school. Yeah, I was a young buck. Five feet tall entering high school. Everyone has their cross to bear. That was mine. We were effective, though. Efficient and effective. Uh, yeah. So we uh, we got some stuff to get into today. Not a ton. We can talk about Live Golf Adelaide. We can talk about the Zurich Classic. Big week. Big, big week for the team golf, which everyone loves all of a sudden. We can talk about equity. Probably not. I probably don't want to get into that. Seeing JT and Jordan Spieth get a lot of heat. Seeing Rory get 50 mil, Tiger 100 mil. Doesn't seem like anyone's happy for him. Let me be the first to say, I'm always, whenever a millionaire can get even richer, I'm always first in line to congratulate them. What an accomplishment. Oh, yeah. That gets my juices flowing. I love when the rich get richer. Absolutely. Good for them. They deserved it. It's not like an absurd third party came in and disrupted the sport and made guys worth more than truthfully, economically, they are worth. That never happened. And because of that, I'm proud of them, their accomplishments, everything. Good for them. So I will not be begrudging them or talking shit about them, I'll be congratulating them. Hoorah, boys. Keep on fighting the good fight. Uh, let's talk Live Golf Adelaide. Nearly 100,000 people there at the Grange. I was getting messages left and right from my fellow Ripper GC super fans up the Rippers, boys. Come on, mate. People forget I spent a month down in Australia during my undergrad years, or uh, as I say in Australia, uni, the uni years, scuba diving, the Great Barrier Reef, going to Sydney, took a shit in the Sydney Opera House. I have some very impressive, very impressive locations. Cameron Indoor Stadium is on the list. The Basilica, St. Peter's. In the Vatican City, throw it on the list. Um, probably something I, I will want to be said at my funeral whenever that day does happen. Kind of an underrated resume booster, I think. Something like that. Are you kidding me? Opera House, Basilica, list really goes on. Cameron Indoor, like, come on. The kids just got it. Um. So I am an adopted Ripper GC fan, although people on the internet were telling me no Americans allowed. Excuse me? Dog, you guys were a slave colony. Seems a little mean, okay? No Americans allowed. Rude. I brushed those off. I'm getting my Ripper GC hat. It's coming in the mail. No one from the league was helpful with that. Whatever. I digress. We're back to the competition. Nearly 100K there at the Grange. Look fantastic. I'll be honest with you. I watched none of it. It's on at 10 p.m. East Coast time. Patty's in bed. That's just the way I roll. If I don't get eight hours, I am a zombie the next day. 10 a.m., 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's my bread and butter. No rem in there. No saving religion. The team competition was probably the, uh, the highlight of... The tournament. Brendan Steele beats Louis Oosthuizen by one. Of course, I bet fucking Louis Oosthuizen again for the millionth time. I might be down minimum 5K lifetime on Louis Oosthuizen. I'm like 5K away from a down payment. Oh, why can't you get there? Louis Oosthuizen. That motherfucker. Uh, but because Louis does not tie Brendan Steele, we have a playoff, a team playoff, the first ever in the history of Live Golf. Where were you? And 
We got the all Australian team, Cameron Smith, Mark Leishman. That's who they decide to go with against Louis Oosthuizen and Dean, the Green Machine, Burr Meester, winner at Trump National Drow a couple weeks ago. They go head to head. They tie the first playoff hole. It's combined score. Second playoff hole, Louis and Dean both bogey. Mark and Cam win. Shoeys for everyone. The Aussies go nuts. I'm getting videos from the grounds of, of them celebrating on the podium, popping champagne like it's college graduation, like girls in their gowns. Hello. They're doing great. It's awesome. And people were saying this is such a success. Live Golf is taking off. People are finally catching on to the team aspect. It's wonderful, yada, yada, yada. One, a couple things here. Maybe multiple things here. Australia should have more golf. I think that is clear as day. Golf starved, great golf courses, a, uh, a country that loves its golf. It should get more top end golf events. That isn't necessarily a live thing. Live was smart where they went there, right? And honestly, I think they should do more there. They should go to like a, a South Africa as well. They should maybe do one or two in Australia, just given the success that they've had in Adelaide. But I mean, PGA Tour goes to Australia, and I understand they haven't since I think like 2000, maybe. They had a WGC there, and they probably won't because. Big J and the rest of the lot, not the smartest in the biz. They'd get the same reaction. It has nothing to do with the format, in my opinion, or anything. But if we want to talk about the team thing, and team golf, all the raves, so hot right now. We wanted to talk about the team thing. And I said this a couple months ago. I got a little heat for it. And I'm going to stand by it, which is what you got to do. I don't jump off a sinking ship. Are you kidding me? Get the hell out of here. If this team thing is so popular, I still think Liv should separate the two. I think they should do team-only events and they should do individual-only events. And that now there's chatter. There's chatter because some guys want to play 72 holes on Liv Golf. John Rahm, Terrell Hatton, Legion 13, how you doing? And it makes sense if you're one of those guys. John Rahm has finished inside the top 10 in every live golf event. Hasn't won. Think about golf tournaments. They're like physical fitness tests. The longer they go, the more fit player is going to rise to the top. The golf tournament was 90 holes. You'd be seeing more and more quality players win. Right? Because anyone... Not anyone, not me, probably not you if you're watching this. But metaphorically speaking, anyone could run a six-minute mile. Anyone can run a seven-minute mile. Anyone can run an eight-minute mile. Can they do that for two miles? Can they keep that pace? Okay, maybe. Can they do it for three miles? Yeah, but after those three miles, vast majority of people, they're sucking for air. They're on their hands and knees. They can't breathe. Took everything they got. Someone like a John Rahm, who hasn't won on live yet. Small sample size, what, six events? Probably win this week, to tell you the truth. He's still going. His fitness level's high. He's just getting into his zone. Legs are moving. Those tree trunks are fine. The longer this race goes the better it's for John Rom. He's like a Kenyan in a marathon. We had a bridge race here a couple weeks ago. They are flying Kenyans in. They ran in like 30 seconds. It was unbelievable. Fastest people in the world. Unbelievable. I'm not kidding. It was a 10K, which is five miles. 5K is three. Six miles. We're going to go with six miles. So I think, honestly, back to my original point. Why don't you separate the two? If you want this team thing to take off, and it, it took a, a step in the right direction, 
with the team playoff. You had the Australian fans booing the Stinger GC captain and Dean Burmeister. It was great, right? Heckling them a little bit. Fantastic. I still think you should separate them. Lean into the team event. Really lean into it. Make it team only. And then you have your individual only. 72 holes. You can start complying with OWGR. You can meticulously place your events around key OWGR major qualification dates, whether it's the new year, whether it's right before the Masters, whatever. And you can do it so, look, end of the year, DP World Tour, they go down Australia, they play multiple Australian events, add in a live event. You pretty much hijack it. Your guys are playing on the DP World Tour, right? Joaquin's already there. Rom and Hatton, they're going to play on the DP World Tour still. You pretty much hijack that. I know it's not under the live name. You throw on the live event at the end of that. Your guys are getting OWGR points right before a big cutoff. It'll never happen, though. And maybe I'm the idiot in the room. Nine times out of ten, I am. But that's fun. Zurich Classic. Talk about team golf. Talk about team golf. Rory McIlroy, win number 25. Shane Lowry, only win number three on the PGA Tour. Pretty surprising. First since the 2019 Open. 2015, WGC, Bridgestone, Invitational at Firestone Country Club. With his win, Rory McIlroy joins a group of players with 25 PGA Tour victories and four major championships. Those players are Sam Snead, Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus, Ben Hogan, Arnold Palmer, Byron Nelson, Walter Hagen, Phil the Thrill Mickelson, Tom Watson, Gene Saracen, Lee Trevino, and now Rory McIlroy are the only players with 25 PGA Tour wins and four major championships. Obviously, there's some omissions. Gary Player, 24 PGA Tour wins, a boatload worldwide. Nick Faldo, European Tour. Seve, European Tour, right? That's why you see all American names. Rory McIlroy, first European to do so. Although, if you look at Tom Watson's Ryder Cup captaincy, maybe he was a little European. Maybe he was. Fantastic stuff. I, I think it, it showcases... Rory's longevity. Yes, he hasn't won a major championship in 10 years. It's disappointing. He didn't give himself like a chance to win one for seven of those years, which I think when we look back at his career and where it, it went quote unquote wrong, I think you'd have to look at his mid twenties, early thirties and not contending in any major championships. He has the last two years, hasn't won them. He's come close. You think if he keeps playing like that, you should maybe grab another, maybe two, maybe three, maybe none. It's golf. Uh, after the win, Rory McIlroy, this is what I really wanted to get into. Goes on stage at the Zurich Classic. They hand him a mic, and he starts singing, Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Internet goes wild. Berserk. We have people writing novels about this karaoke session. I wish I was kidding. But she honestly kind of gets me into a different, different topic of golf Twitter just sucking recently. Just oh, so bad. People writing novels about nothing. They're giving their hot takes, which are dumb. The engagement farming. Fellas, coming from a McDonald's, someone who knows how to farm, it's embarrassing. Get a grip. Grown men in their 40s, 50s, trying to get clicks? Come on. You guys are fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers. It's embarrassing. Have some respect for yourself. Golly, it is so bad right now. I follow about, I think, like 400 people on Twitter. I don't follow a ton of people. I've muted. This is not an exaggeration. 
Maybe 300 of them. Nah, 200. Muted probably 200 of them. It's just abysmal. Got to keep it for professional reasons. And if anyone ever asks, no, you muted. <laughs> you kidding me? I love your stuff. It's a joke, though. Rory sings, don't stop believing. Awkward moment when someone tries to hand him the flag of Ireland. Kind of brushes that aside, gives it to Shane in the video. I think the real footage we would have liked to see is Rory on Bourbon Street, though, right? We think that cat's taking test tube shots. Those big women down on Bourbon Street. Give them a little something, something in the test tube. I went to Bourbon Street when I was like 20. Had a fake ID. Worked. Police was watching this. I did not have a fake ID. I was 21. You, you, you return as a different man from Bourbon Street. Had an opportunity to go to a bachelor party this past year. Couldn't go because of work. I don't know if I could do that to my body in my 20s. Late 20s, mid 20s. Um, but I saw things just, there's a bar called the swamp. I believe it is closed now. Really cheap beer, $2 beer, massive waitresses, huge. And they're just throwing, throwing stuff down your throat. They're, they were getting guys so drunk. They would walk them over to the ATM, have them pull out cash to do more shots Probably not ethical, if I had to guess. But you got to do what you got to do. You got to hustle. Um, so I would have loved Rory McIlroy doing something like that. Get the PGA Tour social team down there. Let Rory hit the town. I know it's the jazz festival. I don't want him going to band to band, being like, ooh, ah, uh, no. He's got to make a low ball trying to him. A couple more. He's already singing karaoke. I've seen this story before on Bourbon Street. You hit it big at Harris. You use said money, or on the golf course, you use said money to paint the town red on Bourbon Street. But it was cool. Long story short, golf Twitter, it's just bad, man. It's a bad place. And I can't even blame Elon. I don't even know if I'm an Elon guy. Um, so Rory wins 25 and 4. Live Golf Adelaide. Success? Yes. But I think it speaks more to the people of Australia than it does the Golf League. Please don't come after me for that. Uh, Updates. Uh, we are traveling. Yes, it is true. I will be going to... Charlotte, North Carolina next week for the Wells Fargo Championship. I guess, honestly, the last ever. Wow. Where were you? Where were you? I think it ends after this year. And if not, they're not playing at Quail Hollow next year because of the PGA. So I am getting into town Tuesday morning. Going to be at the golf course all day, chat up some guys. Honestly, most of my guys aren't in signature events. Uh, so going to meet some guys Wednesday. We got a conversation with a major champion that is on the docket. I will not reveal his name. A little Q&A for CBSports.com should be releasing Week of the PGA Championship, maybe a little earlier. Still TBD. Thursday, going to take in some golf. Watch a little bit. Track down some stories. Put on the journalist hat. Probably not. Uh, and then I'm out of there. Going to see some friends, most likely. My lawyer's down up there. Might have to get my will ready. I can never be too young for that. Uh, who am I going to get my assets to? Louis Oosthuizen? Hell no. 
Um, so I'm thinking for those. Tuesday night, Wednesday night, maybe even Thursday night. I'm driving back Thursday night, so that might be tough. It might be a Friday morning thing. I think I'm going to do uh, like from the grounds report, tell you the truth. I think it'd be pretty cool. Like this, probably from my hotel room, laid back setting. I'll tell you what's going on. I'll tell you the stories, talk about who I saw, who I talked to, what's going on with them. Laid back, casual. This isn't going to be, oh my goodness, the green miles. Actually, 1.3 miles and not 1.0. So it should be the green miles. No, it's not going to be anything like that. Fun stories from the ground. I don't know what I'm going to call it. The ground report, grounded, inside the ropes, no. Um, I don't know. Patty on the prow, no. I'm retracting that statement. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. We'll spitball it. Travel series-esque. Might be going to a playoff event. Probably not. Um, but yeah, that, that's what we got on tap for next week. Week after PGA Championship. Not going. I'm thinking my preview. I'm just going to go through all the names. All the guys who can win. Like Bryson DeChambeau. Just going to go through all the names. That'll probably be Friday. Let's release that on Friday. I'll be back. I'll be tired. Somewhat delusional. Energy levels will be super low. I'll have a couple of energy drinks in me and a coffee on top of that. And uh, we'll get weird with it. Okay? I think that's the best way to attack that. So this was your status update. Didn't ever get, didn't ever get a good sign off. Now it's I don't know. We got to figure it out. Still, still early days. Early, early days. You know, good chats, good banter. Still early days. Hot new bombshell walking through the villa. But I got to figure something out here. Intro and outro. I think need significant work. So that's on me, and maybe a little bit you. We'll cross that bridge when we have to. Okay, for producer Pat, holla at your boy, intern Rick. Graduation, couple weeks. Uh oh, the zoologist to be. What city? <laughs> yeah, buddy. You're not going to get accepted to San Diego. Nice try. Maybe Al Albuquerque. I am Patrick. This was status update number 12, I think. Might have been 13. Could have been 11. Somewhere in between. And that's all we got for you. We'll see you guys next week.